Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you my pocket file facts notebook. I've had this notebook for quite a while now. I've always been on and off with it, but lately I've been really hitting my stride with this notebook. So for this video, I'd like to show you some information about it, what I think of it, and how I've been using it for my everyday carry. Now, Final Facts calls this notebook their pocket size notebook, but it is actually a little bit larger than a pocket moleskin, which tends to be the standard pocket size. So here you can see a comparison. And I also have an A6 Stalogy to show you. Here we go. So here is the sizing. The pocket file fax is somewhere in between the pocket moleskin and the A6 Stalogy. The outer binder of the pocket file fax notebook, it is about the same size as an A6, slightly narrower if you look closely there, and a little bit shorter than the A6 Stalogy here. But the inserts on the file fax notebook is actually the same size as the pocket moleskin paper. It is 5.5 inches tall and 3.5 inches wide. So if I take one insert here and put it up against the pocket moleskin, you'll see that it's nearly the same size. And you can buy printables of this size. I know that Simple and Trendy Co. offers inserts in this size. If you take a look on Etsy, you'll find some Pocket Plus inserts. And the notebook itself is very sleek and compact. You can hold it in one hand. You can easily toss it in your bag. So I have here my everyday bag, the Coach Cassie. I love this bag and I can easily slip my pocket file fax notebook in this front pocket here. So then when I'm out and about and I need to write something down real quickly, all I have to do is open my bag and pull this out and I'm ready to go. Since this notebook is almost the size of an A6 notebook, you can actually use an A6 leather cover for it if you would like. So here I have the Moterm A6 original cover and you can go ahead and just slip the notebook in like this. And here we go. It looks really nice and slick. It fits really well. And let me go ahead and move the pen loop over to the Moterm cover. I think that looks really nice. I really like this look. When I first got the Pocket File Fax notebook, I was really excited to find out that it fit my A6 covers perfectly. But as time went on, I realized that I just like having the File Fax notebook by itself because the cover itself of the notebook, it's pretty sturdy. I've never babied this notebook and it's held up really well. It's made of PU leather, it's full leather but I haven't had any problems with markings or the material coming off or anything like that. I have had this for less than a year. So we'll see how it holds up as time goes on, but so far so good. I don't have any complaints about the cover and it is a little bit flexible. It has structure to it, but it does have a little bit of give as well. But this cover is hard enough where you won't need a writing surface to be able to write on a notebook. You can just take this notebook and write whatever you want in it. Yep. And yes, you are able to bend the notebook back on itself. So if you're in a small space or if you're taking notes while you're out and about, it's really easy to take notes on this notebook. Now, a big advantage to the Pocket File Facts notebook that a bound notebook wouldn't have is obviously you can move the inserts around like so. And these inserts are nice and thick. They can hold up to pulling it in and out of the notebook pretty well. I haven't had any problems with any of my inserts wearing down. Hi, just a quick edit here. I forgot to do a pen test the other night, but here it is now. I don't have any fountain pens inked up at the moment. I know, shocker, but I did go ahead and pull out my gel pen and I have some metallic ones here. And I also have some markers. And as you can see, the paper handles it pretty well. There is some bleed through on the Crayola Super Tips, but the Tombow seems to be working just fine. This paper can definitely handle the juicy gel pens. And then here we have the smear test at the end. The ink on this paper dries pretty quickly. The only ones that really smudge badly are the metallic gel inks, which is to be expected because it's very wet when you put them down. And there you go. That's the paper quality for the Vilofax inserts. Now, the only drawback that I can think of with the 
Filofax notebook is the punches are proprietary. So you do have to buy their punches if you want to put your own inserts into the notebook. It's not like the Levenger disc punch or the Arc disc punch where it's universal. They're both disc bound, so it's interchangeable. With the Filofax notebook, you need to buy the Filofax punch. And then along with my notebook, I did get this insert with the pen loop and this little card pocket here. I can't remember if this came with the notebook or not. I want to say that I bought it separately, but I really like having this accessory because I always like having a pen loop in my notebook so that I can just take this one thing and I'm good to go. I don't want to have to worry about fishing for a pen in my bag. I just want everything to be in this one thing. And then you have the elastic band here and I think that looks nice and slick. If you put it up next to the moleskin, they both look really sleek and professional. They're both very compact. But again, with the file facts, you can move the pages around. So I think the file facts notebook would be perfect for work notes, throwaway notes, whatever else. And you don't have to just buy the black cover. The file facts notebook comes in all sorts of colors and different designs. So you can choose which one you like, but I did go with the black one just so it can go with everything in my bag. All right, so those were my super quick thoughts on the Filofax notebook. Now let's talk about how I've been using this because as you may know, I do use a pocket rings planner for my wallet and I do have a dedicated section on my pocket rings for notes as well. And these are just line paper that I use to write down doctor's notes, grocery lists, just notes that I take while I'm on the go. And then when I get home, I typically process those information into my real planner. But since this is my wallet, it also has my credit cards and my IDs on it. And I don't always feel comfortable having this out in the open when I'm out and about. So I decided to switch to the pocket file effects notebook for my little notes. And I've been really loving it so far. And what I love about it is since the inserts are removable, I've been using it mainly for my groceries. So I can just write down my grocery list. So here's my latest one. And my son did help me go through this list. And then I just take this one page, put my elastic band through the notebook. The insert doesn't fall off the notebook. The elastic band does hold up pretty well. And then I can just take my pen here and go through my groceries just like this. Or if I'm at the doctor, I can just write down a quick notes. Or if I'm talking to someone and I need to put down a phone number, whatever it might be. And then, when I need to go, I can just slip it into my bag. And there you go. And then when I need it again, I just pull out my notebook and I don't even have to open up my notebook anymore because my page is right here in the front. There you go, super quick and easy. So I have been loving that functionality when I'm out and about. It's just made things so much easier for me when I'm out and about. And I haven't bought any inserts for my notebook. This notebook isn't as thick as it used to be because usually when I write something and process it during my weekly review, I just toss the paper to recycling because it's done. I don't need to worry about it anymore. And I've been keeping this page around because I can still use the back. I definitely recommend looking into the pocket file facts notebook if you're looking for an everyday carry. And then here is the pocket file facts notebook compared to my pocket planner. It's just so much more lightweight and compact and portable compared to my rings planner. And I do still love my pocket rings. I am still using it as my wallet, but I've just been really enjoying using the pocket file facts for my everyday notes. And those are my quick thoughts on the pocket file facts notebook. If you have one, I'd love to know your thoughts and how you're using it. I'm always open to ideas on how to use my notebooks. So. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. This is Baba Notes and I'll see you next time. Bye.